Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. That is right, we are on the FHG Power Creep account. Um, this is the very first day. So what I did was I created this account um, over on the new server. I believe the server is 1071. So we're gonna have this free to play and I want to um, kind of go through this experience with a lot of new players. There are a lot no, a lot of new players that were brought over from the ReZero. So I went through, um, you start on 1-1, it says you're not a novice anymore. So it takes me kind of past the tutorial. So we actually start in chapter two, as you can see right here, we do have a little bit of gold because I did um, start this last night. So it's been about 24 hours since we got the AFK timer. But again, we didn't do anything with this count short of just going ahead and um, redeeming the codes. So I have the codes, guys. I left all of the stuff in here from the codes. And you can see we have some of these sticker codes. But in total, guys, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 active codes. That is right, guys. There are 14 active codes currently within AFK Arena. Um, I did a little bit of research last night. I found all of the ones that I could. But looking in here, guys, to start a brand new account, look at the diamonds. Look at the lineup of resources, not only time emblems, but we do get 40 scrolls, what, 45 scrolls out of there. So pretty good rate off the bat for a brand new account. Now I know Keck Lord was kind of talking about this. So with the power creep, so what I mean by the power creep is when you look at heroes within AFK Arena, there's actually a point where um, the older heroes have less base combat power than we see with newer heroes. So when you look at very old heroes, the combat rating is 365. When you look at new heroes like Edwin, he's all the way up to 392. Now that does kind of extrapolate as you continue to level up these heroes and you, you um, build these heroes out. The, the power level or the power creep is much higher with the new heroes. So I actually made a list and I'm going to put in my entire power level my, my power creep team is going to be the five most recent factions from or the five most recent heroes from every faction that are the newest to AFK Arena. Now, majority of players um, will go in there and just run Damon. Damon is absolutely the very, very easiest way to progress through AFK Arena. If you build out Damon, you can go through usually about 30 chapters within usually a month, a month and a half we've seen, depending on how much you are really grinding it, Damon can do incredibly well. Now we're gonna build them backwards based on the power creep. So essentially what I mean by that, um, with Edwin or with the Greyborns, we're gonna build Edwin, we're gonna build Kayleen, Fane, we're gonna build Tresnar, and we're gonna build Hodgkin. Once we get one of those heroes built out to that ascended level, I'm gonna swap into Zyra, and I'm just gonna essentially build our lineup backwards based on the tier list, which I think will be pretty fun. We'll see exactly um, how good it's gonna work or if it's not gonna work at all, depending on where we are with these builds. Now again, we got all the codes. We have a lot of events that are going on, dimensionals. Don't know if we're gonna be able to get any of the dimensionals, but we still have a lot of the free events that we have going on right off of the bat. They have the boot camp, they have the daily, which is with the beasts. And then of course we have the blade hunt. When we go a little bit further, we'll have the, the um, ability to get the awakened version of Athalia out of there, which is gonna be cool. So you can see guys, it's very slow when you start off. This, this is something again, that we haven't really experienced a lot. Now also when it comes to the peaks of time, which I believe is locked right now, but they have the shadow invasion. There, there's the shadow invasion. Then you also have Pippa's part in there. Both of those are very, very good early game because you're going to make a lot of progression very early. Now, of course, Noble Tavern, like I said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill this on. Um, we're going to fill it with the heroes that I have on this list from the the oldest or, or the um, the newest hero all the way back to where it is. Um, that's kind of counterproductive. You build the old heroes first. Um, if you're building out older heroes first. So we're not building the older heroes first, we're building the newest heroes first. So essentially in our light bearers, we have Palmer, and I believe it goes in line, Scar, um, right there. So that is our line. So you can see guys, even here based on the release, so the oldest heroes of course are right here, our legendary heroes, but then it goes to Estrilda, then it goes to um, Belinda. So we're gonna be using this top five because those are the oldest here, are the newest heroes, within the power creep on each level. So Crisio, Salakai, we have Anista. And again, we're going back. So with the new light bearer, when the new light bearer comes out, essentially I'm gonna replace this with the new five 
newest heroes. Um, Walker, unfortunately, will be dropped out because he's going to be a hero that we're going to build later. So again, we're not going to worry about meta. We're not going to worry about the builds. Wilders are going to be pretty solid in there. But same with Greyborn. We're not going to put Damon in there. I'm not going to put Grez in there. We're going to have to see exactly um, how they look. With Rem, if you get lucky on Shamira copies, you could get to chapter 16 in one day. Yes, it, it's kind, kind of crazy. I know I have Walker in there, guys. I have... Um, also, Alero is in there, so so both of those in there. We're we're gonna see exactly what it is. Yeah, I've heard a couple where you you can kind of cheese some of the new heroes, um, especially when it comes to having them more built out. But this is our wish list, guys. Again, so what we're gonna kind of hold it to, and I wrote down some notes, is we are gonna build out again the five newest powerful heroes within AFK Arena. So we're gonna go with the top. When one of these hit that ascended level, we're gonna swap them out and we're gonna put another hero in here. We're gonna see what it looks. I managed to push uh, chapter 30 with Rem in three weeks. That's what a lot of players are saying. Um, Wolfie is with Rem, it is super, super broken because of the damage she puts out. If you put support behind her, if you put buffers in there, um, it, it's insane kind of crazy. Feel like you should have waited to do this to Dodge Walker. We might get lucky, Ryan, and we might pull a lot of copies of them or we might do, um, we, we might not get any because, I mean, we have quite a few copies in here to go ahead and summon. couple things, guys, remember, new players, number one, friends list. This is something you absolutely want to fill out. Um, this is going to be absolutely huge, guys. You have to build this out. And again, this is FHG uh, Power Creep. So if you want to join, if you want to add in the friends list, um, this is absolutely huge. Other thing is, as soon as you get to a guild, guys, 2-20, Guilds are massively, massively important in this game, guys, because early game, you can get a lot of loot. You can get some chests out of there, um, out of getting the, the builds out of the guild. Also, Solemn Vow. When you get to the point of utilizing the Solemn Vow, Solemn Vow is game-changing, guys, because you can borrow heroes like Ainz. Ainz can go through the peaks of time and just absolutely crush it through pretty much every peaks of time mode um, that you have early game. Again, Power Creep. The, the Peaks of Time adventures are kind of set in stone. They've been, you know, kind of stagnant, kind of the same for a considerable amount of time. But when you look at some of the newer heroes, again, it is kind of broken because the heroes keep getting stronger, but the content is not. Um, Rem is that good. I thought it was just, um, no, no, it is not the hype. Dark Lucifer, if you're building out Rem, Rem is just broken. Honestly, it is broken. Um, how do you get this high resolution hero images? What do you mean, Camille? Let me know what you mean. Uh, how do I get the high resolution hero images? You mean like for thumbnails or for the, the YouTube, um, for the streams and everything? Yep, I'll, I'll join in one minute, guys. Let's see the summons here. Because of course, first one, we're gonna get one. And of course, it's very, very slow, as you can see. We cannot speed it up. And we got Tamaris. So, okay, guys, he does pretty well. Um, overall, I, I think early it's gonna work decently, is what I'm hoping. Look at that, a double. So we got a two heroes in a row, guys, which is the second copy of Tamaris. That is awesome. Um, I'm gonna do the Facebook share because I want the diamonds out of here. Anyway, guys, there's a lot of different places in here that you can actually share. I'm not sure if it's gonna kick me out, but there we go. It gives me the diamonds, even though I don't really share it, um, but it does work. So we got two copies of Tamaris, which again, once we build out the heroes. Also, guys, early game, look how slow it is. Um, but you want to make sure that you're not missing. It says the hero's wish list is now available. You want to make sure that you're not missing out on doing the summons. Now, a lot of players will go to the Stargazer too early. Um, really does take a considerable amount of time before I would invest in the Stargazer. And there we go, guys. It is killing me. And look, we got Frampton right off the bat, guys. Wow, there is a copy of Frampton. So we get our first hypo which is very, very early. No Awakened Heroes though. And I wanna use my stones. I think we have a couple stones in there, but we have Frampton to build up a little bit. And we also have a couple other heroes, including that double copy of Tamaris, guys. That's gonna be very interesting to, um, to really kick the, these things off. Friend setting again, I'm gonna go ahead and accept everybody in here. All right, so let's go ahead and, I know, I know I was thinking that Andre, I'm like, just like, I mean, you're, Oh, the Awakened Athalia pick. Um, that was actually over on Discord. A, a lot of the pictures, a lot of the stuff um, is either on Discord or a lot of them are actually over on um, Reddit uh, for the pictures. 
Good luck with the account. I started an account with the same concept five months ago, currently at uh, chapter 34. That's pretty good. So guys, overall new account, you wanna try to save your resources as far as you can. Th this is really one of the big, big things is if I'm using these, these are based on the AFK rewards. You want to do as much progression as possible. Um, I know that there's kind of a fine line between getting the progression and losing out on some of the progression, but I don't want to use these too early because I want to make some progression, guys. I want to get some solid progression in there. And I got Brutus out of the Elite Stones. Now, Elite Stones, pull whoever you want. So that's a really, really good start, guys. We have two solid tanks out of there, which I definitely like. I'm going to be able to make a little bit of progression in there with these tanks. And we have Frampton. Now, we, and we have Frampton. Uh, Frampton, five newest hypos. So the hypos, I'm not gonna worry about Dark Lucifer because it is going to be so random for pretty much all of the content right now. Um, there's not gonna be much of an ability to kind of change uh, the Celestials and the Hypogens if we get any of them. I'm gonna take him, and I'm thinking 25. I'm gonna have Brutus a little bit higher too. We're probably gonna have to um, add some in here because I'm thinking of all three of those. Now again, early mo early game mode, um, there's a couple legendary heroes if you can get them early. Um, a couple being um, Arden is incredibly, incredibly potent at this level, guys. Um, so is Savius. Savius is very, very strong when it comes to this early game mode. Um, he can do incredibly well. Again, early game mode um, works well. I want to awaken Cetrana. Yes, Cracking Crunch, I agree with you 100%. I would love it. What's going on, Raphael? Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, I would love to see um, Cetrana would be cool. I still want to see Shamira. Guys, if there's anyone in AFK Arena that I want to see by far um, when it comes to heroes is Shamira. Guys, I, I still absolutely want to see the Awakened version of Shamira. I, I feel like that's been a huge, huge miss. So here we should have no problem getting through, again, a lot of these levels, a lot of these stages. Um, it is going to be very, very slow going through here because, again, you can't speed this up at all. Um, 2-16 or VIP level 2. And again, we're just running these as free to play. We're not going to put any money into these accounts. Um, the only one, literally the only account, and I know a lot of players ask about the faction accounts. Um, a lot of players ask about... The only, only account that we put anything into is the YouTube account. Nobody else, um, not, nothing else do we put anything in. How many accounts do I have by now? Um, this would be number nine in totality. Now again, a lot of them, we don't really play very much at all. The FHG account, um, really the, the faction accounts, I don't play a lot of. It, it's very short lived, hopping on there, doing the daily, doing the event items. Um, but short of that, I don't really do much on there. Awaken Ulrich, yeah, there, there you go. Uh, Rem has been a beast in my experience in her Abyssal Expedition. She averages five billion with good support. Yes, so a couple in those gold is um, Rem has been doing just phenomenal when it comes to that Abyssal Expedition. She has been doing just rocking it out. Um, same with the Awakened version of Belinda. We've also seen the same with that Awakened version of Athalia. It's really, really been um, crazy to see how much damage some of those heroes are putting out against the boss. That is the reason why a lot of the top guilds went in there knowing that they were just going to absolutely decimate the boss, which is exactly what they did. Um, it it kind of crazy to see. Yes, Laika Silas is a really strong support. Um, Laika in really anything. She's another hero, guys. Um, Laika works incredibly, incredibly well early game. Even looking at Laika with Peanut, um, even Laika with some of the damage dealers. So if you have heroes like Frampton, again, it works incredibly well because of the way that Laika works with that awe ability. Once you do get that third skill, the awe ability um, works phenomenal. It absolutely works phenomenal. Yeah, I know the, the auto battle, um, Jay Bona, I wish they did the auto battle earlier. We've actually talked about that with Lilith quite a bit. Um, just because again, when, when you set the formations, it's, it's just such a grind. When you look at newer players to AFK Arena, and that's one of the big reasons, guys, why we wanted to do this, why we talked about this. 
Um, I got, I believe, almost 300 plus responses about the post we did. Should we start a new free to play account? Um, and 80% said yes. We, we were roughly about 80% that said absolutely um, starting a new account. So we can see it how new players do. Now, again, thinking of it from a new player's perspective, and that's kind of the lens that I'm trying to put on um, with, with going through the content is this is how slow the game is going to be for a new player. Th this is really it. This is going to be your first um, your first couple stages. Two times speed does make a little bit of a difference. But once you get to that four times speed, which I believe is quite a ways down the road, I believe you got to go through a lot of chapters, 16, 18 chapters, maybe even more before you do that, that four times speed. And then also with the auto battle, it, it takes a lot more time. Um, I've awakened Thane, Brutus, Solus, all one star, um, and Mythic Baden. So is there any advice? Um, honestly, Toxic, if you already have Baden to Mythic, I would finish them out. I, I would absolutely finish them out. Um, you're only talking six more cards. I, I would finish out Baden just again because of the utility. In that case, because you have Thane, you have Brutus, you have Solus, you have Baden. Um, definitely murking the awakened version of Belinda. Yeah, chapter 20 is four times. Again, that's crazy that is crazy so one thing andre um and a lot of players don't really realize is alero early game and i i know a lot of you are not in this mode um alero early game works very well um even though he doesn't work when you get further um alero does work pretty well as a support hero early game later on not really so much but yeah definitely want to what awakened hero would you want to pull if you had to choose belinda the awakened version of Belinda. The big thing, guys, is with that awakened version of Belinda, um, fundamentally, she works with the basic level. So if you get one copy of the awakened version of Belinda, because of the, the abilities that she has, um, she will do an incredible amount of damage, even just with one single copy, where some of them do well, but a lot of them need the, the build to do the damage. Um, she does not. She does not. Yeah, I know, and that's what I was thinking, Andre. Um, that that a lot of a lot of people didn't realize that he does work pretty well. King's Tower is open. The Dark Forest is open. The Shadow Invasion is open. And again, I really wanted to see this. I, I wanted to see what it looks like early game in Tamaris. We already got some double copies of. Now, as we do our progression through here, um, again, early game, you don't want to take anyone really up to that legendary, legendary plus till you get a couple copies of them or early game you're going to be stuck and that's what a lot of players were also talking about is early game if you go ahead and build up or use too many fodder heroes to actually build up your heroes it's very detrimental when it comes to the progression you, you'll actually run out of food early and that's why in a lot of events a lot of players will buy fodder um, again early it can make a big difference but once we get to the king sour once we start progression we get quite a bit of food it, it works. Is there a need to level the fodder to 160 like we used to? Should be able to level. So you can, you have to level them, Gustav. So the big thing is when you're making progression in there, um, you do have to level them up because it caps. You can only have so many level differences between heroes. Um, you'll actually get stuck at kind of a hero cap, um, which doesn't work. Does Palmer need 60 engraving or just 30? Kraken, I did 30. So I did not take Palmer to an engraving 60. I have way too many people that um, that need it. I, I would definitely leave Palmer at a 30 engraving because I mean, fundamentally that's where he works very well. I wouldn't take him any higher. When does Damon start to get huge damage? Like what, ascended level? Even lower. So the big thing with Damon guys is when Damon came out, Damon was absolutely broken because what happens with Damon is as you continue to build him out with that blood shield, um, Damon doesn't have a cap. That, uh, again, is one of the really, really big things that we've seen with Damon is there. And I think, can we use the two times speed? I'm not sure how far we've already um, went through here, but I thought maybe we're pretty close. Um, there we go. So, so Damon doesn't have a cap. So as the enemy gets stronger... Um, and this is the reason why he is still having a lot of utility in higher game modes. The damage scales. Yep, just what Dark Lucifer said. So as the enemy gets stronger, um, Damon gets stronger. And that doesn't end. 
that that continues guys um Damon scales again as the enemy gets stronger Damon gets stronger and it doesn't cap it doesn't say hey you know it can cap at 120 percent of Damon's attack rating no there there's no cap which again is kind of insane to think about but there is not a cap um with that um, I'm in chapter 42. I have almost all the essential heroes. Should I power level focus everything on levels? So the the big kind of kind of thing with that Keck is um a lot of players you you either have kind kind of two two avenues. Um either you're gonna focus on the curse realm, the nightmare corridor, the treasure scramble. Um it it's really where a lot of players spend a lot of focus at that point. Um, versus doing the power leveling. Now, power leveling, when it comes to the power leveling, the resonating crystal, it's going to be for the campaign. It's going to be for the towers. Those are the only two, I mean, the, the really two biggest areas that you're going to see the impact um, when it comes to power leveling is those two areas. And again, it's either going to be a really big hero focus or it's going to be a really big um, it's going to be a big power leveling focus. Now, for a lot of players, um, I, I do both. So I kind of split it. <laughs> what is going on, guys? We have a brand new sub to the channel. Thank you, Liam, for subbing. Um, what I mean by that, Keck, is I've actually done kind of a rotation. So what I would do is I would build out heroes for usually a month or two. And then the third month, I would focus all on gaining levels. And then I would continue that rotation. Um, again, but depending on what level you are at, and here is Soren, guys. That is right. I forgot we fight Soren in chapter two. Um, as crazy as it is, Damon scales at SI20. Yes, SI20 is really the only place you need to take Damon. Um, the only reason that I would build Damon up a little higher, Blazer, is if you're using Damon as your 100% um, primary carry, you can build up a signature item essentially up to 30 um, just for the simple fact that he does work well. He scales a lot faster, a lot higher. Um, if you build out the signature item because of the way that he's built, there's the Arena of Heroes, guys. We're going to continue just adding this up um, and continue progression. So what I do early game, um, and again, a lot of players that are playing relatively early, is I go through the campaign and I grind until I usually see 10 or 15 defeats. Um, after we've seen 10 or 15 defeats, then I move over to the tower. We'll make as much progression through the tower as we can. Once we get stuck in the tower, then I go back through, I'd level everybody up. So we'll actually use all of the resources we got here. We'll do some summons, things of that nature. Once we're at that point, everything is done. We clean out the peaks of time, things of that nature. Then I go back right to the campaign, guys, and we just continue that exact same rotation. Hopefully we have some stronger heroes, some more levels. Um, I'm loving Tamaris right now, early game. It seems like it's working very well. Um, I have no access to gold signature things. Should I use the Noble Society for them? Um, there will be a point blazer that you can buy them out of the store. Um, might just take a little bit. It might just take a little bit, but you will get there. Um, heroes that can take advantage of enemy scaling will always be good. Yes, absolutely, Ryan. So the big thing with Mahira is Mahira doesn't do the actual scaling. Um, Mahira's abilities will work regardless of levels. So if you have a basic copy of Mahira, it is not the scaling that is um, th the trigger with Mahira, Ryan. Um, it is the ultimate ability. So her Mesmerize ability will work anywhere. It it'll work in any, um, any scenario. It'll work against any opponents. Um, there is no level restrictions. There's nothing of that nature. When it comes to Mahira, her ability just works. Um, with literally just having it unlocked. Um, should I use the gold signature items at the Noble Society? What are your other choices, Blazer? Let me know what what um, what um other choices you do have in there for that. Um, I've done some testing with Isabella as a primary carry, managed to get to chapter 21 within two weeks. After that, I hit a roadblock. Yeah, she's one that has to be built when it comes to a lot of different heroes. And look at that. Coin, coin comic 007. Thank you for subbing to the channel. I just noticed it. Um, big thing with Isabella, as well as a lot of primary damage dealers as carries, um, they have to be built. That that is really one of the big things, guys. Is damage dealing heroes have to have the stats behind them, or it doesn't work. It it doesn't work at all if they don't have the build. If they don't have the stats, that's the reason why heroes like Damon work because he doesn't need the stats. He actually steals the stats 
um, with his abilities works incredibly, incredibly well. Should I swap out Miska for another tank or frontline or rest of my heroes? But he's stuck. Um, Mishka is a hero you want. She is one of the most high utility heroes, guys, when it comes to crowd control Mishka. So if you're talking swapping out Mishka for another tank, no. Mishka, you absolutely want to keep. What's going on, Waters? The Hippo Scream. Um, my Damon is Mythic Plus. They're worth my guaranteed Stargazer to get him ascended. I would not. So the big thing, Blazer, is Damon you'll get copies of. With the wish list, with the desired hero summons, um, you'll get copies overall. Um, definitely, I, I would just wait. I, I wouldn't use my Stargazer. I wouldn't use anything out of there to go ahead and build them up a little higher. Um, they'll, they'll come in time. Don't rush the copies. Don't rush the heroes unless you're you know a small spender, unless you're a whale, whatever. Then you can just buy pretty much whatever you want. But it, it takes patience. Either you're going to um, spend kind of time going through here, and, and that's really one of the big things. Um, it, it's either going to be time or it's going to be resources to get through here. As you continue to get more copies, as we continue to summon more heroes, um, the, the wish list will work as intended. You'll get the heroes. Might take a little bit of time, but you will. I'm on chapter six and I pulled Solus. I take it. I'm unlucky to get another for a while. You could. You a absolutely could, Liam. Um, the, the Awakened Heroes are just RNG. That That is really it. Hello, FHE. I've enjoyed your other channels. Oh, thank you, Moneymaker. Yeah, the, the Financial Education channel is getting there, guys. We went from zero to 100 to 200. I believe we're 260 plus on the Financial channel, which is awesome, guys. I, I see such a positive impact and such a really good feedback from people um, about, about the financial piece. It, it's really cool to see. My choices are all of them except the elemental things for engraving. Oh, you can't do the engraving yet? Um, are red chests available in there, Blazer? Because if it's red chests, guys, always choose the red chests, always choose the cores. Um, again, with a lot of the other items, they'll come in time. They, they will come in time. But I, I wouldn't use it out of there at that point because I think you're still early game. I, I think it is still early game. And guys, look at this. Hammerus, uh, Frampton, and Brutus. So we're going tank, tank, and then, of course, a damage. Bounty board is open. Look at that. So again, early game, making some progression, which is awesome. What makes Grez's utility so good? So the big thing with Grez is the minions. So Grez actually puts a shield on the minions. Um, Grez's damage itself does not come from Grez. Um, the damage comes from the shield on the minions. When when the shield on the minions breaks or when the shield that he puts on there breaks, um, that is what does the damage. It isn't him himself. It is the enemy breaking the shield on the minions that he puts up. Um, that That's the reason why Grez does so well. And the utility is a lot of players or, or a lot of enemies. Um, Grez 1 can definitely distract them, meaning that a bunch of minions are kind of everywhere, which is one of the reasons a lot of players love Grez. He has a lot of utility there. He also does have a magic mitigation, so I believe he provides it to the team. Um, but overall, those minions, the, the minions are huge for damage. Also, on a side note with Grez, um, yeah, if, if red chests are there, Blazer absolutely get red chests. Swap the Savannah for fodder and get the three-piece faction bonus. Oh, we could, because who do we have? Um, we can put Ira in there. I, I'm not even really paying much of attention right now, um, Wolfie, as, as we're going through here. Yeah, we can get the faction bonus. It's pretty cool to see. Like I said, um, seeing it new, uh, we can go through, we can look at what they want us to do. I know, like, join a friend. Um, there, there's a couple of things in there that they want us to do. And I love Frampton. Fram look at him. Guys just do doing what Frampton does. That's pretty much it. Locking it down. All five heroes there. All right. So body board is open. Let's go ahead. I think we have a lot of... We got the arena open. We got some weeklies done. We got our ascensions. We got quite a bit of a campaign, so I know we can do some more summons. Because we got a lot, guys. A lot of those codes were huge. That was a very, very big, big beginning. So I think we can do a couple more summons in here. I want to see what else we get for resources out of everything else. And look at this. All right, so we're into some blue gear. 
We got chapter one. There we go. VIP one. We finally got that. There is chapter two. And again, seeing it early game is, is really cool, guys. I, I love being able to see this early game. Um, the advancement rewards are up. The, look at that. We have the shop up, which is already showing both the dims. Um, so we could definitely utilize those. We'll add some more to our friends list in here. We have a couple more summons. Then, of course, the bounty board is open. And again, thinking of a very, very new player, guys, bounty board is huge. Bounty board is absolutely huge. Um, if you can get some heroes in here, which I don't think we have enough. Or no, we do. We do with Brutus. And remember, old school, we we um have to um we we have to do this manually. So again, if you guys remember, if you're newer to AFK Arena, um they automate so many of these processes as we get a little bit further. Um we start unlocking the autofill in the bounty board, we start unlocking a lot of different autofill features through here, which again, make it a way faster, smoother, easier um, kind of work through in here. I don't think I have any, well, yeah, we do have a couple mercenaries, that's right. And here, there we go. So the bounty board is done, guys. Um, the arena is open, the King's Tower is open, the Labyrinth is open, um, the merchant ship, of course, it's blinking at me right there, which is open. We also have a lot of the new voyages and a lot of the events. Four new players. Now this one I think is share. Um, again, we're gonna let this load. I'll just cancel it out. And that should give us the copy of Wukong. So that gives us another one, guys. And of course, because he is a Celestial, um, we can keep, which we have a lot of tanks in here, but we can keep um, the faction bonuses in there. because so we can actually swap him in, level him up a little bit, assemble of heroes, which we don't have. Soldier Supply, of course. Another little bit of a log in there. And then we pick up some free resources out of here. I like how they build this in day one. And again, I started this account last night to put all the codes in here, so I didn't forget any of them. But you can see, guys, new players, a lot of resources. We're almost to that enhancement and make one store purchase, which I didn't even think the store was open at this point. But they give us free copies. Dreamland Doubles is up, New Beasts are up, which... Wondered if we could go through some of that. That would be kind of cool. Yes, quality of life definitely are, are needed. Um, you can see the library is open. Um, even Dolly's Corner is open. So again, free diamonds here, free diamonds there. Um, also have the dims. So we could pick up copies of free for three days, guys. I'm gonna wait on those for a minute. Um, I believe we also have Athelia that will be coming up after we make some, some progression, which is kind of crazy. Um, someday you could do a tank. Yeah, tank only would be pretty interesting um, to see. I've heard a lot of good news about Mishko when using her. She dies easily. Yes, so to, to be incredibly well, guys, Mishka requires a build. Mishka does require a pretty high build um, to work incredibly well. Should I wait to claim the raid? Uh, red chest before I read chapter 21 for the cores. Um, no, you're going to need red chest blazer. Red chest, honestly, when you start making progression, um, I I would get the red chest first before I would go into the cores. Engraving is much further down the road. You need the red chest in there. Now, what do we got? We got a couple summons in here, which again, I, I'm not going to save them. I want to see who we can pull out of here. Boom, another elite right there, guys, which is slow as it is. There is Oku. So we pick up another tank. We got Wukong. Guys, it, it almost looks like we are running a complete tank class. Now, of course, through all of AFK Arena, four years. Um, yeah, so, so the power creep we're keeping for the four core heroes. So when it comes to the Celestials and the Dimensionals, um, I, I'm not too worried about them, again, because they are super random to pick up. Um, even if we don't use Wukong, I am perfectly okay with it. But we definitely want to put some more gear in here. There we go. These will be the two main carries that I'm thinking right now. Brutus, of course, we want to build up because we want the immunity shield. He is huge, guys. Brutus is a monster when it comes to the immunity shield. Um, especially early game, which is right, I believe it is right here, when he receives a fatal blow. So we got to get him to level 61, guys. Again, that immunity shield is is big, is really, really big. 
And you know what? We're going to keep Wukong. We'll keep him on the sideline. That way we can kind of stay with the, with the power creep. I'll run it with Oku for a little bit. So we're running tanks. Guys, this is a lot of, a lot of tanks on here that we have. And again, the rest of this, we're just going to go ahead and save. Boom. We got a copy of Arden. So not too bad. I mean, that's food. We can definitely use some fodder. Again, all of these we are going to save. Um, that way, I don't have to worry about him. So we're going to swap out level one, level one. Um, I'm going to drop him. And I think I'm going to go, you know what? Since we picked up that copy of Arden, Arden is going to be one, two, three. He is going to be my number four. Just because, again, early game, guys, Arden is huge when it comes to the crowd control. When you build him out a little bit, um, definitely huge with the crowd control piece, which I like. How far in the game do you think you should before you fully kill uh, Risen Sword? So the big thing with that tank is um, it makes a difference on levels. So, so what they did, um, and a lot of players are not aware, some of you probably are, is Risen and Soren are actually level capped, which means for an incredible amount of time, if you look through some of my older guide videos, um, we got to the point of getting to Risen Soren and it stopped. You, your damage would literally stop. And this happened with Scarlet. It happens with Belinda as well, is your damage will just kind of stall out for probably about 10 or 15 levels. Um, I was stuck not being able to kill Risen Soren at about 950, I believe 950 million, or, or what is it, billion, 950 billion. Um, we were stuck, literally stuck at that point because we didn't have enough levels on our heroes to kill them out. So it's not anything you're doing with um, the heroes themselves. They're not letting you progress any further. I just got Zekas. Zekas is a hero that had probably a week of being decent. Um, and then unfortunately was not decent anymore, guys. A lot of people kind of um, dropped Zekas pretty quick. It, it sucks because I know a lot of players that built him, but overall guys, not super, super effective. As of right now, I officially have at least one copy of every Awakened Hero aside from Taylene and Brutus because they are built out. Very nice, Raphael. And that's the way to do it, guys. Even with free-to-play accounts, so my free-to-play account, um, I am two copies from the Awakened version of Solus, which will be my fourth fully built Awakened Hero. So so we've really um, we've really gotten there. It, it just, it takes time, honestly. Um, if you have a friend or guildmate with a highly ascended Scarlet, would you recommend asking to hire Scarlet? Yes, absolutely. So the, the replacement for Scarlet in that battle is on the Awakened version of Belinda. So if you do not have access to that Awakened version of Belinda, I would absolutely go in with Scarlet. Big thing though with Scarlet in there is Scarlet is um, just an absolute pain in the butt because of the RNG factor that Scarlet carries. It is horribly, horribly bad um, with Scarlet because of the RNG factor. Scarlet will, if one stray alt comes off a hired Scarlet, um, it, it's over. It's over. You'll literally kill your own heroes with one stray bolt from Scarlet. So you can score higher damage in there, but again, it's going to take some RNG to get that done. Should I summon for a single copy of the Awakened Belinda? Um, if you're using the Temple of Time Blazer, I would. The thing is, you're going to have a lot of utility with the hero um, with a single copy. In addition, when you look at some of the Fantastic Voyages, um, things of that nature, one copy of the Awakened Belinda is going to give you a fully built copy in that game mode. And again, there, there's a lot of places where the Awakened version of Belinda is still being utilized and utilized incredibly, incredibly well with just one copy at Legendary. Um, again, the, the damage factor for the Awakened version of Belinda is still there. It, it still does work incredibly, incredibly well within a bunch of different game modes. And we're starting to get to the point, guys, where you, you'll see we start having a lot more difficulty coming through here. But again, then we'll swap over to a couple different modes. Now, thing right now is we don't have any support. It's going to be a, a very long, hard ride um, if we do not get support heroes in here. It makes a really, really big difference as we're making progression. And again, when it comes to Rem and Amelia, I'm going to save them to a point where I feel like We've capped with our progression, um, which 
usually takes quite a few chapters. I mean, even when we did the power level account, I believe it took about a week, two weeks. We were 16, 18, probably almost 20 plus chapters in. Um, goes pretty quick. You Goes pretty quick. Um, Raku to E60, I do for the damage. That, that's the big thing. Um, Raku to E60, Ben, is big on the damage. If you want to have a damage dealer like Raku, um, you, you have to build them out because of the stats, especially when you start getting higher and higher in levels. Um, Raku will get a lot more damage when you're making progression because of the 60, because of that E60. Um, I have Awakened uh, Solus Ascended. Um, if you have Awakened Solus, um, I would go for Belinda. Belinda is really the, the next solid choice in there. Um, Vagon, that, that's what I would go. If you have Solus, Belinda is the primary one that you wanna build. So after she is built, go for Belinda. And again, guys, the Awakened version of Athelia seems pretty good. I get a lot of questions about that. Um, she, she does well. The thing with the Awakened version of Athelia is we're not seeing her as a, a as a built formation. So so what I mean by that um, is when you look at the Awakened version of Belinda, the entire formations are built around her. So when you look at Rain, when you look at Palmer, um, when you look at a bunch of different heroes, the entire build of a formation is around the Awakened version of Belinda. If you do not have that copy of the Awakened version of Belinda, that means you're not gonna have that formation, period. When it comes to Treasure Scramble, when it comes to a lot of different game modes, you will not, you'll be completely 100% excluded from that formation because you don't have that Awakened version of Belinda. Where Athalia is being worked into a couple different formations, she's not the highest damage dealing within those formations. And as of right now, we have not seen any formations that are 100% specifically built around the Awakened version of Thane. Again, we're seeing her in the Nightmare Corridor, we're seeing her in a bunch of different game modes, um, built into other teams, but not teams herself. Oh, you're welcome, Ben. Hope everything's going well with you. Uh, it took me a week and a half to reach chapter 16 with Mythic Rem. Very nice, guys. That, that's pretty good. So you figure a week and a half, guys. This game used to take a long time. It, it, it used to take a long, long time to go through um, a lot of this content. Now, again, with the power creep, with how much um, heroes have kind of changed through time, it makes it a lot easier, guys. A lot more progression, a lot faster progression. Um, I have Belinda Solis, Baden, and Brutus finally built. Um, if you have Belinda Solis, uh, Baden, and Brutus, I would probably go with Matria, Joe. Joel, um, Athalia or Matria would be the, the two choices, really depending on who you want. Again, when you look at team comps, um, the Awakened version of Matria is built, but only built if you have some other solid um, Hypogen heroes to really build into the formation. So we're talking Kanisa and Rook, we're talking Olgath, um, probably Mortis in there, um, even looking at Frampton. If you do not have the the um, Hypogen Heroes, Joel, um, I would go ahead and I would build Athalia. I, I'd build Athalia and it would work. Um, I got to chapter 20 in a week with Mythic Plus, Rem, and Scarlet. Yeah, that'll do it. Coin Comic, that, that will absolutely do it, guys. Um, two very, very strong heroes. You throw any crowd control in there, you throw any, um, not only just the crowd control, but you put any support in there, it's going to work incredibly well with Rem and Scarlet. Again, a lot of players have said that Rem is super broken early game because, again, her abilities, she just puts out so much damage. It's insane. It, it is insane to see. Awaken of Thalia reminds me of Awaken Thane. Great for PvP and Treasure Scramble. Not really. Yeah, that that's... um. The, the big thing, Brian, is Athelia is being used in all the other game modes. That, that's the big thing where... The Awakened version of um, Athalia reminds me of Thane. So yeah, Athalia is a little bit better of a version, in my opinion, of Thane. So the big thing with Thane is Thane killing the targets, which works incredibly well. With the Awakened version of Athalia, um, we're seeing it in the Cursed Realm, the Nightmare Corridor, also the Treasure Scramble. So we're seeing the Awakened version of Athalia in a lot of different formations, 
where Thane is now exclusively PvP. Um, we don't see him anywhere else. So yeah, PvP Treasure Scramble. Yeah, absolutely. How far should Matria be built? You have to build J Javon. Um, Matria has to be built out all the way. She is a hero that if you do not build that hero out all the way, um, you're going to be missing a lot of the skills and abilities that she possesses. Um, so a 30960 minimum. Most players are going to like a 67. So being able to take her damage a little bit higher because when she gets that resurrected, so once everyone dies and she is resurrected, um, she can do the damage. She can really, really do the damage. Um, is the pet seal really? <laughs> yes. So what Walter uh, Waters just said, um, is the pet seal really that OP? So the, the big thing with the seal guys is we are seeing the seal doing more damage than a five man comp. When you look at the formations within, um, within the cursed realm, within a couple different places, the seal is putting out more damage than the entire comp. That is right, guys. The seal is putting out most of the comps. You know, it might be a hundred million, it might be two hundred, it might be a couple billion. The seals are putting the seal is putting out billions. I mean, eight, ten billion damage as a pet, which is really, really, um, really broken. Um, I just surrounded Rem with Palmer, Solus, and Rowan. Yep, that's it. And that's all you got. You got Palmer support, Solus support, Rowan support. That's it. You you just really um really let it run. Uh, another free yeah. This is for fun. So we're doing the power creep on this, guys. If you didn't catch the early part of the video, I am summoning and we are utilizing the five most current heroes from each faction. That's it. That that's where we're kind of staying right now. Um, for the wish list, it is all the new heroes. We're gonna build them out to ascended. Once we hit that ascended mark with the power creep that we see in here. Once we hit Ascended, we're just going to go back. So kind of doing the, the opposite of the release date to see exactly what we get. See how it works and how well it works. Yes, Waters, um, this, this seal is broke. Um, do you think the new Light Bearer tank will be good or bad? So in my opinion, guys, with Genis, the, the new tank seems very, very strong. Because when we look at the tanking ability, um, one... Tanks have have to have complete and utter mitigation. Either real, really, they have to have two things. Um, either one, when it comes to the tanking class, guys, you either one have to have a very high damage mitigation, um, or two, you have to have um, damage immunity. You, you have to have an immunity on the hero. That is really the only two ways that they actually work at all. Without that, even that's why players still utilize Brutus. Um, just for the simple fact that he has the immunity. That, that is the big thing, guys. It is the immunity that provides the, the reason why people still use um, Brutus, the reason why players still use, um, when you look at Elbeto, it is the immunity. When you look at Ulna, it is the immunity. Th there are so many aspects where it is literally just the immunity that keeps all of these tanks around. Yeah, Ben, he seems like he is going to be pretty solid because not only with the immunity or the um, damage mitigation that he provides, but he also has a very, very high crowd control. So when you look at his abilities, I believe three of the four, if not four of the four, do have a crowd control factor in there, which means, again, the, the immunity coupled with the crowd control, when he crowd controls, he's not going to take damage. Again, Early to tell, but it seems like with the build, looking at the things that are kind of on par that we require tanks to have, he has them. What's going on, Jaffa? An actual zombie? <laughs> what do you mean by an actual zombie? But yeah, like I was saying, it, it seems like he's going to be good because when you look at fundamentally what is going to work with him, it, it seems pretty solid with the build. Now, some of the problems that we see, which I'm going to test him um, probably for the video tomorrow, is we don't know where his caps are, where, where the soft caps are, where the hard caps are. That is where the hero really gets into the weeds of if they're going to work or not. Because if we're starting to see, let's say, 150 level deficiency and the light bearer tank is literally just melting, um, then that's no good. It, it's not going to work even when, um, e even where it, it's very 
early to see again what we're, we're utilizing, what we're building, um, and where he's going to work. That's why I want to test him. I want to see if we start getting into a 200 level deficiency, if we start getting into a two, you know, like a 250 level deficiency, and the tank is still working incredibly well, yes, the viability will actually be there. I uh, just want to say I fairly knew about a week ago I got to chapter 19 today following your videos. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, guys, again, early, early playing, um, it, it seems even going through here, the game is not as challenging as it once was. Players used to struggle. I remember players struggling when they got to like chapter, usually 12 was a breaking point. Um, 18 was a breaking point. When you started getting further than that, it was, again, just really time to get through their time with the heroes because we were very limited with heroes even back then um is we didn't have the ability to have signature items we didn't have anything yeah that's my that's my concern is so sonia provided the damage mitigation for the rest of the team um sonia didn't have very much damage mitigation herself which was kind of sad to see i'm um, very disappointing because they nerfed her too What's going on, Metal Metal Nisi? First time catching the stream live. Glad to be here. Well, thank you for joining me, guys. I love doing the streams. Most of you have joined us. We've been doing streams for about two years, two and a half years, um, which is kind of crazy. Wait, you're at low level. What happened? Nope, we started this one, Harley. Um, just changing up. I, I did a poll. We got a couple hundred people who responded to the poll. We have a lot of new players to AFK Arena. Um, really going back and seeing what it's about. So this account... Um, I'm, I'm thinking we should probably like dedicate a little space on the, the page. Um, that way players can follow along, kind of see what we're doing on a new account. It's also been, got a, probably years, year, probably more um, since we've actually played a new account um, with the new heroes. So we're, we're changing up a little. The heroes that we're summoning, the only focus on building within the wish list, things of that nature. We're gonna build out the five newest heroes in each faction. So that is going to be the, the power creep hero. So all the older heroes, if we get a copy of them like Brutus, we'll go ahead and utilize. But all of the, the older heroes, it's just gonna be super, super RNG if we get some, some summons in there, which is gonna be nice. I just got um, a Tria on a new account. Yeah, Jay Bona, that, that's pretty easy, definitely. Awaken to Thalia, help me, yes. I, Q, Q Rack, I did the exact same. So when the Awakened version of Athelia came out, I ran through 60 floors on my YouTube account, which again, we're at floor, I believe, 660, 680. Um, the Awakened version of Athelia, because remember, when you look specifically in the Celestial Tower, we don't have that many high damage dealers. And also a lot of players that have some of the damage dealers built out um, require a very, very high investment to actually have the ability to to make progression in there. Because again, it, it's kind of um, kind of not not the strongest damage dealers in there. And what's going on, Archer? Hello from Germany. What's going on over in Germany? Videos are really helpful. Now I'm stuck at chapter 19. So some of the point, Emil, is you're gonna get stuck. So what we were talking about earlier is when you're going through here, it, there's going to be natural walls where it's going to be the progression that you cannot make because one, usually it is dust. It is either hero EXP at that point or it is dust to actually build out the heroes. Um, you can definitely swap out a lot of, but what I do, a, a lot of heroes you can swap out is I go through the campaign just like we're doing right now. Um, once I get to the point of hitting a wall with the campaign, I go over to the King's Tower then we go to the arena, then we go to the peaks of time. We can even do some within like the shadow invasion, things of that nature to get some free copies of a couple different heroes. Then I go through, I level it up, I gear it, I enhance it, I get everything that I can, maybe pop some of those resource chests at that point. Then I start the cycle all over again, guys. It is really the, the AFK mentality or, or the part of AFK arena that, um, that you can run. Is there a list of active codes? Yes, there is a list. Um, I don't have it up right now. Um, I, I can definitely do an active code video. It's really easy to do to make sure you use them all. But I believe in the beginning of this, we had nine. I, I think it was nine or 10, um, nine or 10 codes that we have in here, which looking at the crowd control from Frampton is really, really cool to see. 
We're almost through chapter, what's this, four? Moving into five shortly. Um, Awakened Taylene carries me a lot on the older accounts. Yeah, Taylene was strong. The Awakened version of Taylene, guys, was strong. But again, the power creep started coming through. Once players got to the point of kind of being taken over from the newer heroes, um, that really changed up the power creep. It, that's the reason why a lot of players have gotten to the point of not using the Awakened version of Athelia anymore. Yeah, save save resources, guys. Yeah, Miko, um, save those resources. Any of your store resources, absolutely, um, absolutely save those. Save the resources to get Rem and Amelia. They are two very, very strong heroes. If you can only get one, get Rem. I, I cannot stress it enough, guys. Um, pick up a copy of Rem if you can only get one. Um, makes a really big difference when it comes to the build, which is awesome. I'm using Damon as my carry frontline, but my secondary frontline immediately melts down and switching between Thorin and Brutus to live a little longer. Um, honestly, so what I do a lot of times is put Thorin and Brutus in there um, and put Damon back line. So the big thing with Damon is Damon has to have time to scale. If Damon does not have enough time to scale, um, Damon will not work. Damon will not work at all if you do not give Damon time to scale which is the reason why it is very, very important um, to, to let Damon scale. So Brutus will buy him time usually to scale. Another way you can actually do that is putting, um, a lot of players will run Brutus frontline with Damon behind and then Laika frontline. Because even if Laika dies, Laika will still get that awe ability off, um, which is really, really strong. I think I'm gonna go ahead, we'll level up Tamaris a little bit more get over here we'll we'll have to build that up a little bit and let me see if we have anyone else and again we're just kind of playing around with this right now so we'll add a couple more levels here on our boy arden so we can get the roots we can get the crowd control going on we can also collect a lot of diamonds out of there let's see if we can finish this one though um what server um let me let me check what's going on ryan um i believe it was 1076 don't quote me on it um but i, I think it was 1076 Dude on test stealing all my awaken. Oh, the Windsor. Well, yeah. What what's going on? I'm not sure where Ben is at. I know Ben travels all over the world. Um, not sure where he's at. Yeah. Steal stealing all the awakened. And look at that, guys. There's even Matria. So somebody's on here. Jay Bona. Jay Bona just said that, that he got ma uh, Matria. So there's the Matria, guys. I'm hoping we can get an awakened. That'd be really cool to see. Um, if I give you my account, can you show me what I'm doing wrong? What do you mean, Harley? What do you mean by you're doing wrong? I'm not sure what what do, what do you mean that you're doing wrong on there? Send me over some screenshots. Most of you know, guys, if you hop over on my Discord, um, I help a lot of players out over on Discord in a couple other places. 1071, there we go. So J Bona is on it. I was gonna say 1071. I didn't remember exactly what the number was, but there we go, guys. That is chapter four. Moving into five, which again, gives us some resources. Now these used to be super, super difficult. That invigorating essence was an absolute killer. Um, it looks like something's a vote with the city. Look at all of the, we got Dolly on top of Dolly on top of Dolly. Um, this is, this is kind of crazy. Come on Dolly, so there's our resonating crystal. The five highest heroes will go on our crystal. There we go, so we can use the resonating crystal. I believe we got a couple more rares right here. Boom. A couple more copies, and there's Arden. So Arden's built up a little bit higher, which I will definitely like, guys. And look at that, Darren, a new member to the channel. Thank you, Darren, for becoming a member and supporting the channel, guys. Absolutely awesome to see. Thank you for the support. We're gonna level up um, Arden a little bit more. Then, of course, we're gonna have to save here. Um, and I'm gonna go with, with Frampton. We're gonna equip. I need to equip some here on Frampton. Let's scoop up some of our resources out of here. There we go, 100 activity points is done, gives us that scroll. Finished out, this was on three, we're already in five, which means again, a lot more resources, a lot more diamonds, and of course, gear. Guys, gear at this level is pretty important. Um, there we go, so VIP two, just like that, boom. You guys remember when you were VIP two, right? What's going on, Shady? Yeah, so VIP two, we'll get a couple more stones, which of course is gonna give us a little more a couple more summons in here. We'll pick up the free copy of Ram right in there. 
And then let's see what we got to use again. I want to save my resources to the point where we're not going to use them. So we get a copy of Estrilda. So not too bad in there. We will definitely pick up the copy of Estrilda. We got two more rares. And again, that took Arden up a little bit higher, which was awesome to see. Got a couple more summons in here. Let's see what we can do. Um, I'm in one of the accounts, my heroes are stuck at Mythic Plus. The game is not giving me enough copies, but the same account seems to have luck at beginning back to back and awakened heroes. And Chancer's Dream, that, that is a dream in itself. Um, if you're pulling a bunch of awakened heroes, that is awesome. That is absolutely amazing, guys. And I'm hoping we can get to this two times speed in here. I'm gonna have to check to see if we can turn it on. I think we have a pull in here. Splash screen is up, two times speed. There we go, guys. Splash screen, we can go through. And again, these are free diamonds like crazy. Uh, there we go. That's when they started giving us diamonds in here. So many places, guys. And I believe that last 2022, um, when we did the resources, when we did a look at it, um, they were giving around 870,000, I believe it was. I, I think it was like 870,000 diamonds over the course of a year as a free-to-play player, which again, it is kind of insane to think how many diamonds you get. And look at that, Ben, number one fan, big super chat right there. Thank you very much. That is absolutely amazing support for the channel. Um, is Ainz usable? Yes, Ainz is still very usable, guys. Um, Ainz is one of the heroes that are super, super effective in game mode. So the, the big thing is um, with Ainz specifically, Ainz works incredibly well um, through AFK Arena and a lot of players, again, still utilize Ainz, even looking at the Curse Realm, things of that nature. Ainz still has a ton of utility because of his build, still does a lot of damage. Um, a lot of players are still picking him out of the garrison. So actually going in here when the garrison's unlocked is picking them out of the garrison um, because of the utility. And that is because a lot of players do not have the the other heroes. They, they don't have a lot of the heroes built. If you're earlier game and you can garrison Ainz, he is still super, super strong. Um, did you get the dims from the stories? No, I'm saving them, Shady. I, I'm saving both of the dims in here right now, guys. And the reason being, I want to try to make some solid progression in here without the dimensional heroes. Um, I wanna get to the point of actually hitting a stopping point, so hitting a wall, um, and then going back and actually picking up those dimensional heroes to carry a little bit. Um, yeah, Ben, absolutely going crazy, guys. Ben, a, a couple Sono Res, there's a lot, of, a lot of huge, huge supporters for the channel, which I love. It is very cool to see all the love and support. Um, but yeah, that have the Golden Hippo, guys, that it's been probably two plus years. Crazy to see, again, all the love and support for this for um, YouTube. So overall, guys, 100 heroes. There we go. Some more resources, which means we can build up Arden just a little more because we want that entangling root. And again, a lot of players do overlook how strong Arden is early game. And then we'll do the same. We'll come down to Frampton. Already have Arden, already have Mario, which is really, really good because when we want to build them out a little bit further, um, we'll be able to. We'll be able to do it relatively easy um, because we're already having a couple copies of those heroes. Again, we have diamonds in there, which we could definitely use. Don't forget to mentor yourself. Yeah, I have to do the mentor. Um, actually, I can hop on here. I have an iPad that is linked to this set of accounts. Um, I actually have AFK Arena on my phone, which is linked to my YouTube account. So I can actually mentor myself over there, um, which I love because then I can borrow. I, I can borrow my heroes. So let's do some summons in here, guys. Boom. Diamonds for summons. Until you get into a considerable amount of content, guys, absolutely diamond for summons um, is what you want to do. So I'm going to stick with my Wilders. Remember, we're looking for support. We need some support in here. There's Oren, guys. He's another hero that I feel like a ton of players underestimate. Guys, Orin is massive, massively huge um, when it comes to his build. If you're building Orin out, and let me know in the comments, guys, if you have built Orin out, um, because I built him out under the recommendation, I believe from Alfred Us, or maybe it was Sono Res, um, but under the recommendation, I built him out. He is a monster. He is an absolute monster. Um, when it comes to progression, when it comes to a, a lot of the, the, the content, 
Um, he can crush it. He has actually used in quite a few places as well. I'm hoping to get that avatar frame. It looks like Dav is making a ton of progression in here. There's Rem. Look at this, guys. This is a... I, I know it's, it's not the newest server, but it's a relatively new server. It was the newest one I had available last night. But they are already into and already progressed to chapter 19. So just like that, guys, already crushed it again to chapter 19. I will absolutely pick up all these free diamonds out of here. They are just freebies. Freebies for summons, and that gives us enough for another one. Um, how's REM free? So that REM was this REM. It wasn't REM, the, the hero REM. It was the... um. The, the tavern rem. Is rem better than Amelia? Yes, absolutely. I've engraved a thorn at issue now. I can't build another thorn. Same thing. So Ziad, I have the same problem. I have thorn engraved. Um, you cannot build out another thorn. We thought we could. Um, Ziad, you cannot build out another thorn. You are actually stuck with the thorn you have. My thorn is engraved and a double look at that, guys. There's a Lero. A lot of players again a little bit earlier were um we're talking about Alero. There is Alero, guys, and we got look at that. The wish list is on fire. We got another tank right there. That is pretty good. And look at that, another super chat from Ziad. Thank you for the super chat. Can I build a second Thorin? No, you cannot. So Ziad, one of the big things is I have Thorin engraved. Um, still works. Still works incredibly, incredibly well. Um, even having Thorin engraved, I run Thorin engraved forever. Thorin was actually one of the very, very um, first heroes that I built. Um, one of one of the very first heroes that I built was the Awakened version, or excuse me, the um, built out Thorin. When engraving was released, I engraved Thorin. Right off the back, I engraved Thorin. Um, it works again it, it's not the most effective but thorin will work even having the engraving on there um he'll still work and he does still work i, I still use him and i still use him all the time let me hop over here and let me see um so that part is good there we go so i'll have the ability to actually mentor myself which is awesome i keep getting theowin Theowin is okay, Jeffrey. The big thing with Theowin is when it comes to later game, you're not going to use her. You're not going to, unfortunately, you're not going to use Theowin at all later game. Um, a lot of players, she's she's kind of niche for the tower, but overall, um, there we go. So I'm going to apply, and this is kind of, I, I guess, somewhat of uh, cheating. There we go, guys. So there's my FHG account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assign my quest because I want my quest to be the Arcane Labyrinth. And there we go. So I got my quest, the Arcane Labyrinth. Um, could have picked this up earlier to actually pick up a couple more scrolls, but that I'm not worried about because again, early you can make a lot of progression in here, but I want to go through and I want to make sure that we pick up a couple heroes in here. We have Brutus in there. Um, we're going to have to see. I'm going to have to go through here. And again, getting Ainz early works incredibly well because you can actually push through a ton of content with him within the peaks of time. He is a carry. I know probably Rem would do the same, I would say, out of that peaks of time, um, being able to make some progression in there. Sometimes it's telling me to go to the merchant, even though there's nothing in the merchant. And then of course our events, getting a couple more events. We should be able to make some more progression. With the levels we gained, we should be able to go through here quite a bit. Yeah, Muriel works incredibly well. I, I'm pretty impressed with how well Muriel works, um, just for the fact of her ultimate ability in there. Uh, Shady just started Oren. Yes, Oren's a beast. Andre, Shady, um, I, I know even Ben. There we go. Oren is a monster, guys. When it comes to the damage he puts out being built, it, it is kind of crazy. How far should I invest in Rem? Um, honestly, 30960 uh, flaked. I, I would definitely build out Rem. The reason being, Rem is a damage dealer. The more that you invest in Rem, just like we see with Kren, what we see with Raku, what we see with Lucretia, what we see with Ainz, um, any of the damage dealing heroes, the better that you, in the higher that you build out Rem, um, the better she is going to perform. The plus 30 on her is good. The plus 60 on her is good. Furniture is absolutely um, doing well. What is the alternative of that middleman light bearer support hero in the realm boss, the old man? Oh, um, Ash, I think you're talking about Palmer. 
So alternative to Palmer would be putting in like a Strilda. If you have a Strilda, if you have Halos in there, um, the big thing with Palmer is Palmer raises the, the crit damage levels. That That's the big reason why um, the Light Bear support, that is why Palmer is really broken, Ash, is raises the, the crit cap, which there isn't really very many heroes that do that, um, but is is very, very cool. When I started, di um, when I stated diamonds from the story, I meant the videos that are in the library. Oh yeah, we can definitely, I can get the videos. I know even the heroes that I've summoned, I have a lot of diamonds in there as well. So we can definitely go. Gonna use um, Orin on the account. Yes, if you got three co copies of Orin, Jaybona, um, absolutely. He's a monster when you build him out. Saving my time almost because I want to get Awakened Shamir if she comes out. If she doesn't, I'll still be able to build. Yeah, and that's what a lot of players do. So we, we always say usually um, general rule is if you're building out Awakened Hero, get about three to 500. I, I would say probably three to 500 time emblems before you really commit to building one out. Unless like the Awakened version of Belinda, you know 100% you're gonna build them out. Um, but overall, I would wait to build a hero out till you know 100% you're going to fully invest in the hero. Because like we said before, we do not want half built heroes. Um, it is very, very tough, especially for the Awakened heroes. If they're half built, they're only gonna have really half the utility. That, that's one of the big things, guys, is with half built heroes, it's half the utility. It, it's really tough to, to surpass. Most of the Awakened heroes don't work without being fully built. I hate the thorn cheese. Yes, that Ben, that is exactly where um, so many players are at. So many players, it is either you use the thorn cheese um, because you tolerate it, or in the case of like Ben, the thorn cheese you just absolutely hate. Um, for me, I, I know the effectiveness of the thorn cheese. We've used the thorn cheese pretty much since Thorn came out, even thinking back. So quick story here, guys. Um, when the Thorn Cheese came out, there was no cap for battle rating. So so it, if you guys, again, if you guys have been playing for a while, you know this, but when Thorin Cheese came out, so Thorin, of course, the cheese came out with the signature items. So when AFK Arena actually released signature items to the game, um, Thorin, of course, has the retaliation ability. Well, now the signature item gave him one time to be resurrected. Then it gave him two times to be resurrected with that ability. That is the reason why they put in battle caps. So that's why they put in the battle rating caps is because of the Thorn Cheese. So what players were doing is they were actually coming to the King's Tower and they were macroing the King's Tower with the Thorn Cheese. And literally they would just let this Thorn Cheese run for days running through and just crushing the King's Tower. And a lot of players went through and actually capped out the entire King's Tower. So they went to the maximum floor that they could in here with the Thorin Cheese. And again, that is the reason why, looking back, they went ahead and they put in the power caps um, to the campaign because of the Thorin Cheese. They also put in those power caps when it came to the King's Tower. And I believe every every part of AFK Arena now does have those power caps. That is because of the Thorn Cheese, guys. The Thorn Cheese literally broke um, the game when the signature items came out, which again, if you've been playing for a while, you, you've probably seen it or you used it. But yes, it, it was the hero that literally broke so many parts of AFK Arena because of um, because of that Thorn Cheese. Um, do you happen to have Instagram, Twitter? I don't. So guys, social media, I, I'm pretty limited. Um, it does go up over on Twitter. So I do put it up on Twitter. It does it automatically through Streamlabs, Shady. Um, so if you follow me, I believe it's furry underscore hippo. Um, I believe is is the Twitter. If 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 you get it, if not, just shoot me a message. Um, I'll send you. Um, yes. So when I when I go live on Streamlabs, it shoots a message over to Twitter. So it actually does do it itself. I, I don't do anything with it, but it does um, send a message over there itself that we have gone live it does it does on twitter I do, I do have twitter um instagram i do not now like i said before guys we kind of stalled out a little bit within the campaign progression this is when you come to the king's tower now king's tower 
really twofold. Number one, diamonds. You get an insane amount of diamonds in here. Um, number two is essence. This is the part that you wanna farm. If you're getting to higher chapters 19, 25, 30, um, this is also the place that you are going to farm all of your gold. This is going to be the one in really the, the sole biggest grinds that you have for gold. When you start getting further in here, you get, I believe it's around like five, five million. I, I believe it's like five million per floor. So it's incredibly easy to, to, um, to get gold out of here and you really want to. Um, is Rowan a good hero? Yes, Rowan still does have a lot of utility, um, especially when it comes to a lot of different formations. Uh, Denoa, Rowan is still good. Rowan is still utilized. Uh, what is the 309 E60? Yep, so 309 E60, if you've caught any of my short videos, it is the first two numbers are signature items, the third is the furniture, and then the last two are the engraving levels for the heroes. So when we've been doing all of the, um, the, remember, the YouTube shorts guys have to be a minute or less. So a lot of players are like, add formations in there, um, add artifacts in there, add, you know, add this and that, or why don't you go over the engraving, what it actually does. Um, the YouTube shorts have to be less than 60 seconds. So so it is kind of crazy um, that, that they have to be that short and they're by design, that is the way, so it is 60 seconds or less. I can only put so much content into that little 60 seconds. Um, it is very, very short, which again is by design. Um, there, there's a little bit. Why don't you start a new server in Global for all free to play players? Make a guild of 70 players from this channel. First person to reach 1 billion power, get some award. Oh, we could definitely do that, Ash. I mean, we could add whatever we wanted to hear. Literally, we've been playing this game for an hour and 15 minutes. I think it's been an hour and 15 minutes in here. Um, what we've noticed though, Ash, is with all of the race accounts that we've done with other content creators, um, is usually they're they're very, very short-lived. So even when we set, I believe it was the first one to chapter 20, um, most players, almost all players, except for probably three or four, actually achieved that chapter 20, which what we were pushing for. Um, again, most players don't stay around for that long to actually complete the challenge. So the bigger you make like a billion power, um, that's gonna take a long time. And most people will not stay with it that long. They will not stick with it that long um, to, to really, and that's why kind of the short challenges work a lot better because again, most players will not stay for that long. Thanks for the advice on Lucius early. I bought, uh, bought Rem and Amelia, we'll build them soon. Oh, very cool, Samuel. Yeah, Lucius again, basic build guys plus 20 signature item there's not really a big reason to build him out any higher um some players haven't built out higher because they're older players where lucius actually had a purpose now with all the tanks we have in afk arena with the builds um there's just a lot of heroes that are so far out of the meta even the tower um he's just kind of fodder i mean he fills a slot just like a lot of the light bearers which is the reason why I'm hoping the new tank is gonna have a lot of viability. But overall, again, they, they kind of fill a slot um, in a team, but don't, a majority of older heroes don't bother investing in. It's really not worth it. Rem and Amelia, definitely worth investing in. Um, I built actually both of them on the FHG account and it works well. And I think Jay Boda, Jay Boa is um, following me in here. I, I keep seeing the Matria moving up as I'm moving up. Uh, if Damon wasn't an option, what would be the other early game? So other early game carry, if Damon wasn't an option, was always Shamira. And also the reason why Shamira will still work as an early game carry is the game gives you a ton of copies. The game gives you a lot of copies of Shamira. As you continue through with content, um, you, you'll get pretty much, I believe, a mythic Shamira for free. Um, you, you do get a, a lot of a lot of progression with Shimira. Thanks for answering. I have Rowan SI30 and Damien Carey. Should I finish Rec Q, et cetera, or build Rem as a, um in there? Honestly, I would do Rem. I would do Rem. Um Rec Q you're gonna build, but if you already has Re, have Rem, um, yep, I would definitely that's what I think thought. Um Jay Bona, I, I thought you were following me. I, I seen it. Picked up Lucretia and Mahira on the new account. 
Jaffa, that is awesome. That is a really, really good start to this. With Ram, Vulcan pushed 28 chapters in three days. So below chapter 35 looks like an e easy challenge. Yeah, that's why I'm saving Rem. So guys, we know that um, even from a lot of newer players in AFK Arena, if you use Rem in the method of, of kind of knowing AFK Arena would be the big thing, Ash. Um, because you have to put support and crowd control behind it, I feel like a lot of players just coming into AFK Arena might not know that, might pick up a copy of Rem and just kind of play around with her. Um, if you're really looking to focus and build and grind, Rem is broken. Rem is absolutely broken. Even if you combine that with Amelia, who is going to provide the crowd control for Rem, you put support behind that. It is insane. It is absolutely insane um, how far you can push. And I just wonder at that point, so if you're going chapter 28 in three days with Rem, um, what kind of wall are you hitting with building everyone else? That That's where I, I kind of want to see, and I want to see where we're going to get, where we're going to literally hit this wall. As I saw, Lucius was used in the Temple Rift about eight months ago. Now the Rift has changed. So the big thing, Shady, yeah, with the Temple Rift, the changes is the um, the class, the class-specific buffs. So literally, when they revamped the um, when they revamped the Temple Rift and they got rid of the class-specific beacons, um, it, it's it, it's a game changer. It literally changed every single hero you can put in there because you no longer have to focus on two or three beacons. You can put anyone you want in there, the team. So heroes like Lu uh, Lucius within the Temple Rift because you built out the tank beacon is never going to be used again because that is now gone. Last I saw, um, I got chapter 21 in a week. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. Would you say no hero is necessarily bad? It's just other heroes outshine them. Um, the the I wouldn't really say the bad heroes, but a lot of them don't have any utility. That that's really the the big thing is um, there are a lot of heroes that have little to no utility, meaning that they're not used in any formations. They're not even used for a lot of them within their respective towers. Um, th th there's a couple bad that I would say like bad that I guess are bad like Walker. Um, Walker is a hero, unfortunately, that literally just fell on his face. Nobody built Walker. Even whales that built out Walker never found a place for Walker to actually be used, which is pretty tough because, again, there is zero utility for the hero, which is tough. It it's very tough in there if there is no utility at all. Yep, and just like what, what Shady. Um, yeah, and that's it. So, since release, Walker has been horrible a absolutely horrible is it okay to make falks ascended because i only need two copies of him um in time i mean falks again is another hero the the thing with falks is falks can still be used in a couple of kind of niche places but falks can also be used within the tower because of the crowd control again a lot of players will still utilize falks within the light bearer tower just for that crowd control piece because it does make a big difference. Uh, out FHG, thanks for the stream. I'll see you later, Ben. Have a good night. Yeah, I, I know, Walker was bad. for some useless here, yeah. So Torn, yeah, Torn was okay for a little bit with Moreel. Um, and again, it was kind of an interesting utility. Um, yeah, and, and again, if you didn't have Moreel, you don't use Torn. Torn really didn't have much of a place. Um, there's been a few that, again, just never found a place in AFK Arena. That That's kind of one, one of the big things, guys, is, yeah, there, there's a lot of places, again, where the, the heroes just never found never found a place, never found a home, never found a formation. Um, a lot of them, they cap their damage is way too low um, in comparison to some other heroes, honestly. Yeah, if they do an Awaken Walker, guys, it's it's game over for a lot of people. Yeah, and that's it, Andre. It is sometimes his crowd control will work. Um, yeah, Alero is another one. Alero has a little bit of utility within the Mauler Tower. Um, even early game. Alero works pretty decent early game, um, which again is kind of crazy. There we go. So we'll drop Alero in here because again, he falls into... Our list of heroes that we're kind of summoning. Let's drop out 
and let's drop a later one there. And again, he has a little bit of utility early game. Um, I think I have to have him uh, built out probably a little bit more than I do now. And of course we drop an Alero and then it's probably gonna be the first one we lose, but that's okay. Yeah, Alero has a little bit of use. The big thing with Alero is you have to have your team survive. So your, your team has to survive essentially four on five with Alero when you have him built, which for a lot of players um, or a lot of team comps, they can't. They, they can't survive the, the four on five to get Alero to work, um, which is tough. Uh, do we know what the next Awakened Wilder could be? Not yet, Ryan. So a lot of people are speculating that it's going to be Tassie. That right now is kind of the, um, the leading speculation as of right now for the Awakened Wilder is Tassie. Um, I, I don't know if there's any legitimacy behind it or anything of that nature, but again, a lot are saying Tassie. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Tassie. A lot are saying they would like to see Leica is another one or Kaz because Kaz has little to no utility. Um, but again, a lot of players are saying that it is going to be, that it's gonna be Tassie. Should I hero swap um, Lucius for Sonia then? I built uh, Lucius because I was new and didn't have enough resources. Um, Samuel, um, Sonya doesn't have a lot of utility either. Uh, honestly, um, I, I would wait. There, there's a lot of other choices rather than those two. Um, if you're staying with the light bearer, Sonya, I have Sonya built on my YouTube account, and I don't use Sonya for anything either. Um, short of the tower, it is really it. And again, Lucius will kind of fill that same slot in the tower. Um, I, I would look at other heroes that are more meta heroes that you could swap if you have Lucius built. Now, one thing to remember, guys, is you cannot swap a hero if you engraved it. Even if you added one point in engraving, you cannot swap that hero any longer. Um, they are taken out of the swap scroll. If there is any engraving on there at all, um, they are dropped out. So 54 is in here, guys. Again, just kind of trucking along in here. I think Awakened Oden could be amazing. Yes, Awakened Oden would be nuts, guys. Popularity vote, we know Oden is the most popular hero in the AFK arena. Um, when it comes to the Greyborn, I believe Lucretia was number one over everybody. But yeah, he doesn't have his dummy yet. That, that's why I took him back out, Shady. Um, he, hasn't, he hasn't far enough. He hasn't leveled up enough. Yeah, imagine if he had an AOE um, energy reset or an energy steal would be kind of crazy. Yeah, Almas, there you go. We, we could go old Groot with Almas. Yeah, and that's what people were saying, Shady. I, I think that's where they got the um, the possibly being Tassie in there um, would, would be kind of going back to the storyline of the Awakened Heroes to see with Aziz, um, things of that nature, kind of where they do it. So far with the storyline that they're doing with the Awakened version of Athalia, um, a lot of players not super happy with the um, the, the murderous theme that they're kind of um, kind of going going with, but we'll, we'll have to see. I know a lot of players said the same with some of the other, like I believe it was, was it Valoris? I believe it was Valoris that just went absolutely crazy and just murdered everyone um, or was luring people in to murder them. Let's go ahead, we'll collect up some diamonds. We'll do a couple more summons in here. Got a couple more stages. And of course, we now have more than enough to unlock the get over here, which gives her or him all four abilities in there. Oku can go a little bit higher. So there we go. So that'll take him to 40 plus, which is awesome. And again, we're just gonna have to build some of these heroes up, guys. We will continue building all of these heroes up. And again, just kind of going through the rotation again and again and again, getting more resources, getting more stuff out of there, which is awesome. Yeah, I hope it's Aquaman. That would be cool. I, I think if they really wanted to do it upright, um, if they went in there with Cirrus, Cirrus would be pretty cool. Cause again, I don't know many heroes that actually ever used um, Cirrus, but overall pretty pretty unique hero. Um, signature item was, was pretty cool to see on him as well. I do give all my money. Yeah, give all your money for Awaken Almas. That is it, guys. If we were going with the Awaken Almas, those will go with an unused hero as an Awaken to make them viable. I hope so, Ash. I, honestly, um, I, I hope 
They do, but yeah, like like they just said right there, um, Athelia is still being used. Athelia has a ton of utility. The original version of Athelia has a lot of utility um, that players are still using. Echoes of Time, again, this is another place um, that is just going to give us a bunch of diamonds. And then we also have our heroes for a bunch of diamonds. And then we're going to have to go through and start just grinding out a couple um, Peaks of Time adventures. I think we already have quite a few built. Pick up some loot out of there. Pick up some artifacts out of there. And still carrying with Tamaris, but look at all the diamonds in here, guys. Athelia's story was just up. Then, of course, we also do have the second book over here. There we go. So there is Athelia's new story. Three diamonds everywhere. And again, I, I think of just, you know, a, a newer player that has the ability to get diamonds all over. Even the Oak Inn is now open. So again, we can get some resources out of there. Um, I'll do the unions. Have some more summons in here, which is awesome. Uh, I think you rigged my summons or awakened it there. So it's not looking too good. So no res. Is that what we're hearing here? That the um the, the summons did not go too well. I've heard that from a lot of players that it's been kind of a um a struggle to get that awakened version of Athelia. Just some more rare cards there, but that's okay. We get some more gold out of there. Then of course we start unlocking the store. We unlock the barracks, we unlock the labyrinth store. We'll have to run the labyrinth. Um Temple of Ascension still got a lot more copies, a lot more heroes. And I think we might have gotten a couple more stones out of here, but we're also getting fodder. We're getting a lot of fodder. Going to have to go through the arena. Um, just a lot, guys. There, there's a lot going on as we continue to grind through here. Because we're already in Chapter 5. We'll be able to go through here with our levels. Um, is there a story lo uh, link for AFK Arena? What do you mean, Zach? A 200 and still not at Mythic. Yeah, that, that that's... um the, the Stargazer cards are not loving you today. But... Yeah, not Mythic. I mean, that's not even six copies at that point. If you're at 200 cards, hopefully doubles and triples, Sono Res. I, I'm giving you my luck. Um, I, I hope that you are going to be able to um, see some doubles. What about a triple, maybe a quad? I know there were some pictures over on Reddit of a four pull for Brutus, which we did see, um, which of course was legitimate. A lot of players were kind of questioning it, but overall, guys, looking at, you know, a lot of the build, it seems like it was um, pretty legitimate in there. Yeah, th that's what I was thinking. So Tamaris, we could build up a little bit higher, but again, we're going to have to wait for some more fodder. And I, I feel like if we go through a little bit more content, we just need, uh, I don't want to get rid of Arden yet to take Tamaris a little bit higher um, to, to pull him up. Again, I'm going to wait. I keep them right here. And this is again for newer players. Um, I keep them elite plus until I get two more copies. I don't want to have these heroes stuck sitting right here. I would even take an Arden up a little bit higher um, just because we know we're going to use Arden essentially as food when we get to a certain point. But I would definitely keep them where they're at right now until we make some more levels, until we continue making the progression before we move anyone up to that mythic level. I, I will definitely take some time. Totally pulled Awaken uh, Athelia from an Elite Stone. Not huge. That is awesome. Uh, can you show your wish list? So Aaron, don't use my wish list. I, I have to warn you, um, go into the guide section of YouTube and look at my wish list video. Um, the wish list in here is not the one to build. I, I repeat, Aaron, this is not the wish list um, to build. I am building the, the five most current heroes in each faction. I am not following my wish list at all um, of the recommended one. That is why we have this, the Power Creep account. We are not following the wish list that I would on any legitimate account. Um, I just went with the five most recent heroes in every faction is what we built. Do, do not build the, the, the ones like I did here, Aaron. Does the world of AFK Arena have a clear storyline? There's more like League of Legends. Um, there's a ton. There, there is an, just an absolute ton of... Um, of storylines for AFK Arena, um, that that would be interesting. Yes, COD, th this is a new kind of series. Again, we're going to be running the new heroes is what we're summoning for. We're going to summon the five newest heroes on the four primary factions, pushing them as far as we can 
seeing if we can actually get them to work, which so far the Wilders have been doing pretty well. Um, but once we get one of these essentially um, to that awakened level, I'm going to start backfilling. So we're going to go to essentially the sixth newest hero, the seventh newest hero. So I'm building the, the list just backwards with releases. I kind of want to build Oku. Oku, Ryan, o Oku is okay. He needs um, he needs to be built. It, really, to, to get him to an effective level, he needs to be built. But when you look at the faction itself, when you look at Tamaris, um, when you look at Mishka, um, there, there's a lot of other heroes I would build long before Oku, Ryan, um, just for the simple fact that the, the investment has to be there to make him really viable. And there's a lot of other tanks that will do what that will do better. And look at this, guys. Tamaris is pulling everyone together, which I'm loving. I, I am loving the crowd control aspect that Tamaris is throwing in here. And of course, Brutus starts getting the immunity shield, which is hard. Yeah, th there's a lot. Um th there's an AFK story, but like I said, there, there's a lot of join us on Facebook and Discord. Um, th there's a lot of different stories out there. Th there. There's a ton of different stories everywhere for different heroes, um, wh which again is kind of interesting with, with the, the way that AFK Arena, it has a lot of side stories. It has a lot of lore. Um, there's a lot of stuff built around it. And there's also comics. There's, again, th there's so much stuff. I have to build a Brutus higher. Brutus needs that 60. Yeah, Estrella has a comic. Yeah, they, Thane has the comic as well with, I believe, Baden. I believe it's Thane and, Thane and Baden with that comic. Um, maybe Arden can do it. Oh, Arden was so close. Look at that. That, that was so close. But again, we can go back. There, there's a lot of stuff that we're just going to have to build with higher levels. I, I love having the higher levels. Get over here, guys. Tamaris just pulls everyone together which is awesome. Got my first double awakened two days ago. That is awesome, Andre. Double awakened is is just, it's legit, guys. When you see the polls, when you see it light up on your screen, you just go crazy. It, it is awesome. I uh, main Wilders 274 level deficiency. Yeah, Ryan, Wilders are strong, guys. When you look overall, that's why I'm really interested to see what they do for the next Wilder Awakened hero um, to, to see how crazy they're going to get with it. I, I really feel like there's going to be some really, really strong Wilders coming out of there. Yeah, they, they have comics. They have, um, there's there's so much. They're, there's so much content. And again, guys, the game has been out for four plus years at this point. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of crazy that with, with the amount of stuff they have, it, it's cool. It's cool to see. That's one of the reasons, guys, I love this game. It's something that, you know, we've invested not only a lot of time and money into, um, but is it a game that I'm going to play? I'm going to play it till it's done, guys. Um, in some kind of capacity, it's really, really fun to play, even to this day, even making new accounts and seeing some of the heroes that maybe a lot of players do not utilize in here. And I still want to pull the Awakened. I don't know who the first Awakened on here is going to be, but hopefully we can see it pretty soon. And I love the combination of Frampton's crowd control and Tamaris's crowd control. It seems to work really well in here um, with, with the combination of those two. Again, 57 floors, guys. Got to get that immunity on Brutus. I, I feel like that would make a game-changing difference in here. Just getting thrown around. Ogi throwing people around. Boom. Frampton doing the pile driver in there. And we're going to continue to grind this out. Like I said, we still have um, a lot of peaks of time that we can get into. I believe we have a couple. No, it's almost 6 4. So we are almost there. Wondrous Pouch. This is honestly um, one place, guys. You can farm this like crazy. Early game, this is game changing. This is an absolute, the, the little mini games on the side. But these two early game are game changing because you get a copy of a bunch of different heroes through these quests. So you get not only resources, but you get a Wukong copy right there. Um, you get some diamonds, and I believe this gives you a Shamira copy. If, if I remember correctly, I thought there was a, a couple different 
Oh, it's not even showing me. I haven't even started any of it, but I believe it does give you maybe a Shamira copy or maybe it was Forest Mania um, that gives you that Shamira copy. Again, it's been so long since I've done these guys. Um, so you get the, there it is. There's your copy of Shamira. Like I said, the game gives you quite a few copies of different heroes with the Shadow Invasion also going through here. We get some more copies. We get copies of Shamira here. That's why I said the game gives you a lot of Shamira copies right off the bat, which can work incredibly well. And I wonder, see, Thrilling Voyage isn't even open, but the new beast is here. So I wonder if, yeah, see, we can't, we can't see any of it yet. We're not there yet, but that's okay. We'll definitely get there. Wilders will be, yes, if they get the, the Awakened Dreef, that would be awesome to see if we got the Awakened version of Dreef. Um, we're going to have to see. But all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's live stream, guys. I'm going to continue grinding this out and see exactly where we land on this account. Um, thank you very much for all of the love and support, guys. I definitely want to make some more progression, see exactly how the wish list is going to come. I'm going to clean up some of this on the account, continue this grind. We're going to join a guild. We're going to get all of this kind of set and ready to go. Still grinding out the King's Tower. I got to go through. I got to clean out the Arcane Labyrinth. Um, First couple times through here is super, super easy. Bounty board, arena, we still have a lot, guys. And then, of course, 620 for the voyage. I want to finish the voyage to get those time emblems. Also have a little bit more progression for the rift. For the voyage, we're going to do a lot. Uh, Shamira, there you go. So Shamira is always also on the second map after 15. Yep. So you can make a lot of progression in there, guys, with Shamira. Again, if you don't have Damon, if you're not looking for Damon, um, you can definitely push a ton of content with Shamira, which is awesome. But again, guys, thank you guys for joining me for our Thursday stream. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. We will definitely have a lot more content, including the new Light Bearer Hero that is going to be up. Um, he's actually up on the test server right now. So I'm going to check him out, see exactly what is going on with him. So again, guys, thank you guys for joining me. It was awesome to see a new account, guys. In a matter of an hour and 30 minutes, we're five chapters in. Going on six chapters in, I'm definitely going to make some more um, progression in here. So again, guys, thank you guys for joining me for the stream. Have a good night. And as always, thank you guys for watching.